This film is about breathing and what is going on in our bodies when we are breathing for singing. You will hear people using the word support. You need to support more. That needs to be supported to the end of the phrase. We've got to learn some support. If you try and unpick it, it's very difficult for people to explain what they actually mean by the word. And if the word has no meaning, then there's no point in using it. This is what Thomas Hickson said about the word support. Teachers teach it, singers feel it, listeners think they can identify it, and scientists are trying to determine what it is because actually there is no agreed definition at all. So let's think about what muscles we're using and why and how, and then we might be able to come to our own conclusion about what we're doing. So activity in one muscle, as we know, will trigger activity in the others. Okay, we, we know that because we know that otherwise we'd be bending and twisting all over the place. So keeping that in mind, we can also know that overactivity in one group will cause a compromise in function in the others. So we don't want overwork anywhere in the system. We don't need underwork because then the job won't get done. And overworking will mean that the whole system is not working as well as it could do. Just try an experiment. Try breathing in to your full capacity. So this is going right up to the top of the graph and holding your lungs full of air, but with your throat open. So you're not closing your throat, you're just using the muscles of your torso to hold that air in. And you can feel the amount of effort that you have to use to stay full with your throat open. So this is a really important message to get through that coordinated breath management will probably feel like you're not doing very much. Mm -hmm.